much in this vlog I've realized so I thought I would film a few clips just to fill in a few of the gaps and make sense of how I've edited the video because I've tried to turn Cambodia into three vlogs and now it's too late to change it um, so we're making this long enough to be a me vlog because it's currently at seven minutes and a seven minute vlog isn't really an Evie vlog um, so let's do this <laughs> So we started off this part of the trip to get to Koh Rong Sam Luem. We had a train which was about an hour late, so that wasn't great. But we got on the train, we all got seats, which was really great. There was no aircon or anything, but we were by a window, so that was really great. And I think it was about a two hour train journey. I think I tried to sleep a little, listen to some music. Um, and once we got there, we then got on a coach. This took us to somewhere else. We then stopped, we went in a tuk-tuk which took us to, we went to this shopping mall to grab some lunch and other stuff. I managed to find some underwear which I hadn't been able to buy for literally forever. And then we got these tuk-tuks to the port and we got on our speedboat which was actually one of the nicest boats I went on on my whole trip. So that was quite nice. And the speedboat was about 45 minutes. It stopped off at Koh Rong itself and then stopped at Koh Rong Samuel which is where we went. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I arrived, I was in the best mood. It was just so beautiful and I hadn't been in the sea for a long time. Like the whole of Vietnam, end of Thailand, like it was a really long time and it just felt so needed and I'm very much that island girl vibe and that is what I needed. I needed that and I found my room and I went straight to the beach, went for a swim and actually met two really lovely little Cambodian girls who were so nice. I think they were called In Ing and On Hing. And I think they were like seven and five and they were so sweet and they were trying to learn to swim um, and they were playing with us for ages, which was so nice. And then we went to this beautiful hostel for the evening just to use their sunset view top, view top? Their sunset viewpoint. Um, and we had two pound gin and tonics, which is ideal. <laughs> Um, found a hermit crab and there were two girls we don't know who they were but they were telling us it's not a hermit crab they said it's definitely not a crab it was definitely a hermit crab and we were like so sure of it but they were not so we were like oh okay googled it it was a hermit crab and we were right that's all I can say so this day was our beach trip, our boat trip, and this was one of my favourite days in Cambodia because it was just so fun. We did have a really not very nice lady um, come on the boat with us. She wasn't our tour leader. Our tour leader was lovely, but she was a leader for the day, I guess. And we actually all wrote in our final reviews that she ruined the day for us, which is such a shame. Um, well, we still had a great day, but she really did put a downer on the day. She was just constantly there. There were just a lot of very strange rules, which we hadn't had enforced or in place for the whole trip. So it was very strange. Anyway, 
it was beautiful we got on the boat we got to do i think two snorkeling spots one where we could jump in because it was deep the other we couldn't jump in because it wasn't as deep these were really cool we got some cool we played around we basically spent half our time filming each other snorkeling rather than actually snorkeling but it was really fun um and that was great And then we went to a beach which was one of the best beaches I've ever been to. The whitest sand, the clearest water and we stopped off, we had some food. I actually had a very British meal which you will see and this was really delicious and then we just spent a couple of hours just chilling on the beach which was just so nice. then after that we got back on the boat we had a few drinks while well, some people had drinks i didn't and we watched the sunset on the boat and then we got to go in the water we jumped in we were swimming while it was sunset it was this was one of my favorite memories just all of us were just in the water we were all swimming we tried to get a group picture which just didn't work very well and it was just such a fun end to the day and it felt like the tour was really coming to an end at this point so it felt so nice like it was just one of my favorite memories of the trip um it was a really lovely evening Literally. 
<laughs> Woo! That's so cute! That's so funny! I reckon what? now that's 30 seconds and it's gone. It's nearly gone now. It's so pink! And orange! And pretty! Sorry guys. And then it was our final half day kind of on Koh Rong, but I was a little bit sunburnt, so I stayed out of the sun for most of the morning and I edited some footage, which I actually really, really enjoyed and quite a lot of people did stay out of the sun as well. Um, but we had like quite a lot of the morning, so I had some lunch and then we went to travel to go get our sleeper bus, which is in the next vlog. Um, stay tuned tomorrow not tomorrow oh my god the next Cambodia vlog is the final Cambodia vlog which was also the final one of the group tour all of the rest of the vlogs are me solo traveling which is actually so crazy to think back when I was filming these I didn't know how long I was gonna be traveling for oh my god it's just crazy anyway I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one Which will be the start of me solo.